Hey everyone, have you ever started programming in .NET and C Sharp and you just needed to write some .NET and you wanted to see the output in the console um, in some other form and the only way for you to do that is to either make a console application, go to a website online and, and plop in the .NET to like, sorry, plop in the C Sharp to see what the results of that are. Wouldn't it be great if, you know, Visual Studio 2022 had something baked in like like a scratch or a notepad well they do and it's growing in popularity just the way of being able to write c sharp just like a javascript scripting language and get the output right there in front of you without having to run um, anything and see anything so here i have a a dot net new of a blazor WebAssembly application and why I started investigating this is once I saw some Microsoft videos and I was like, yeah, that looks like a pretty cool thing. I'd like to incorporate that. And then uh, I'd never really had a need for it, but then I did the other day, so I thought it was perfect. So um, let me just quickly just add um, a C-sharp file, add new empty file, which is a cool extension from Mads. Um, so I'll say um, date functions. And we'll use like the top level statements, sorry, not top level statements, the um, file scope namespaces. <clears throat> and I wanted to do something simple like um, get and get days between, and that'll take uh, date time D1 um, and date time D2. All right, so let's say we have this date functions and we have this get date between I had was I couldn't remember um, when you do the date add or the two time spans to get the difference between two dates for days, hours, months, like what order I needed. Did I have to put the more recent date at the front or the back? So I was like, oh, that would be a good use case for the Microsoft implement implementation of the Jupyter Notebooks. Um, so basically what I was trying to do is like figure out uh, like, I basically wanted to do, you know, if, um, or I don't have to do that. So I'll just basically say D1 minus D2 uh, dot days. And I, I basically was setting like breakpoints. So option one equals and then option two And I would, you know, I'd set a breakpoint at the end. I'll return um, option one. It doesn't. Uh, I'll just say it returns zero. Because um, I, I couldn't remember, you know, for what order they have to be. Because I wanted to get the positive days, right? So. Um, Long story short, what, basically what you have to do is like two things that worked for me, and I'll put a link um, in the description below. First, you have to add an extension from Microsoft, and I'll just go to the installed one so you can see. So it's Notebook Editor Preview, and allows you to um, write the Jupyter Notebooks and have like a compilation in it. Um, and then you also have to Yeah, so the you just have add the extension. You don't necessarily have to get it from Marketplace here. You can get it from right from Visual Studio. And then the other one was the .NET Interactive. And basically, I just copied this and I ran it from an elevated command prompt. Or, um, all right. So basically, like I'm thinking going forward, what I'm going to do is just keep a Jupyter Notebook in each solution and that way you can write scratches of C sharp. All right, so and I'll put the, the link to um, all of the different files on the Microsoft GitHub for uh, .NET Interactive. I just took their their course 101 file and I stripped out everything and then just added this adding days example. So this is pretty helpful. You can imagine that let's say you're writing this and you're like, oh yeah, I can't really remember how to do that like ideally they have something in visual studio where you can actually just say you know open 
I know when you're actually debugging, you can do immediate window, so you can write, you know, C sharp right there. Um, I'm not sure if you can do it like so. This is pretty pretty awesome and new, and um, so I'm pretty sure you can't do it. If you can, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to just open something here and just write C sharp. But basically, with these guys, you can you know do markdown. And what I did here with this, I just said adding days example, and then you can like store a bunch of kind of example. Um, you know, C sharp. And the cool thing about this is since it's using C sharp and .NET interactive, you can run it. So if I have this and let's say var date diff and var date diff two, um, basically I can hit run and I can just see the value. So I know that the one that is in the future, you know, this one here needs to come for uh, first. So it's basically saying, Hey, take uh, whatever now is add 15. So 15 days from now and then remove some minus actually now. So it should be whatever. And this is just 14 because of, I assume because of the, you know, the difference of how it's being calculated between the times and midnight and stuff. Um, but pretty cool. So then I know that I'm like, okay, I just need the one and I would kind of, you know, if that's the second one and the first one is the first one, then, you know, I would essentially just, I would know right away um, without having to um, actually debug, go through. It's like, oh, I have it backwards. Like this is, this is maybe an example that, you know, maybe some people know right away, like for the, when you're doing a time span and then you're calling a function on it. Um, actually, if you look here, um, uh yeah the day component return value can be positive or negative. so you know it doesn't say to me like which one so i'd have to run it to debug right so that's the beauty about these and you can kind of organize them it's kind of nice like you can go over here and i would go new markdown and i would say um you know i just wanted to write something so it'd say you c sharp scratch or just say notepad notepad okay and then here i'm going to go code and then i'm just going to say var test equals this is a um, cool test go here and then i'll say console and you see how it, with the jupyter notebooks you get the intellisense which is nice so console right line and then i'll uh, say the word test and do that and now I can go run and this is a cool test um, yeah so you can you know do a whole bunch of things in there you know for loops for functions you can do classes as far as I'm aware like it's pretty powerful just to be able to write some C sharp like you would you know JavaScript or any kind of client side language that you can see right away I'm sure there's some strongly typed languages that you can do that right away that you don't need to you know run and stuff like that um, so yeah, I hope you guys, um, like this, uh, cool way of, um, kind of testing out your C-sharp before you implemented it in any files, functions, extensions, and what, whatnot. Um, you can also like make, um, you know, folders of kind of examples of like what, you know, what you're trying to achieve and, and how to do them. So for example, if you, if you had this, you could actually paste that in there and call it, you know. Then down here, you know, you could just say um, new uh, var date function equals new date uh, functions. Okay, and then um, you would basically say df dot get days between, and then pass in uh, date time now. Or just data now.
Oh, right, because I'm returning zero. Pretty cool. I was like, why isn't that working? Let's try it again. There you go. So cool. Really nice uh, way of just kind of writing C Sharp without actually hitting that big scary green button that if you have a bunch of things in your solution that takes long to start and you're waiting to log in and hit a breakpoint, this is awesome. This is cool. Jupyter Notebooks right in Visual Studio 2022 community. Hope you guys uh, like this video. Uh, subscribe um, if you found it helpful and useful. I'll put all of the links to the various um, things that you need to get going with this in the description and see you next time.